now we are looking at how we solve limits if they are applied in trigonometric function. And in this case, I will look at sine, cos, and tan. So in this case, if you have limit as x approaches 0 of cos x, cosine of x, it will be equal to 1. Why? Because by direct substitution, if you replace x with 0, cos 0, we know cosine of 0 is 1. Again, the same case applies to sine. If you have limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x, again, when it comes to x, sine 0 will be equal to 0. Again, if you have limit as x approaches 0 of tan x, again, by direct substitution now, if you replace x with 0, you will have tan 0, and tan 0 we know, we know is equal to 0. So with that one now, we can be able to apply this to so we, have, we say limit of x is, as x approaches 0 of sine x over x, we always say is equals to 1. There are some people who ask, why is it 1? Because when you replace x with 0, and when you replace here again with x is equals to 0, we will have sine 0 is equals to 0 over 0. So you have 0 over 0. Why is it 1? So with that one, maybe we can be able to explain that one if you have limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x. By direct substitution, we have 0 over 0, which we, can be able, we cannot be able to solve with that one. But with this one, again, we can be able to apply what we call a hospital rule, so where we differentiate both sides. If you differentiate sine x, we look at that one later, we will be able to look at that one and say, when you differentiate sine x, we'll be able to get cos x. And when you differentiate x, you know you will get 1. So again, now when you apply that one, you have cos 0 all over 1. And we know cos 0 limit of x as approaches. Now cos 0 will be 1 over 1. That's why we are saying it will be cos 1. So note this one. As limit of x as x approaches 0 now of sine x over x will always be cos 1. The same case will happen to this one. So when you differentiate this one, you get negative sine x. So we have limit. So if you replace this one, you get it is 1 minus 1 all over 0. So you get 0 over 0. So by direct substitution, you cannot be able to solve that one. But we can apply what we call a hospital rule. So here, when you differentiate cos, you get negative sine x minus 0, because when you differentiate constant, we get 0. Or over when you differentiate x, you get 1. So this one, when we apply 0, we have minus sine 0, or over 1, which will be 0 over 1, which will be equals to 0. And that's why we are saying, limit as x approaches 0 of this one, you'll be able to get 0. So these are key now, these 5, are key now whenever we are solving equation involving trigonometry. Now, we can be able to solve example one, but we will be applying this one. How do we solve this trigonometry uh, if this one is applied? How do we solve limits if this one are applied in our, in our trigonometry? We can now take an example on this one. You are given limit as x approaches zero of this one. And I know when you solve this one, di by direct substitution, you will get it is sine zero all over 0, which will be 0 over 0. So in this case, we cannot be able to solve direct. But at least we know, we know, we said that limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x, we know how we get that one. We said when you solve that one, you get 1. So how do we solve this one? So in our case, we have limit as x approaches 0, sine 6x all over 5x. So I can make this one look like 6x, 6x. How do we make this one? the same here denominator. So in this case, I'll have limit as x approaches 0, so I can have 6x over 6x, so which I know this one is the same as 1, then sine 6x all over 5x. So in this case, instead of having 6x, I may eliminate, I multiply both sides with the 6. 6 times that one, and 6 times that one. So this 6 over 6, now 6 over 6 is the same as 1. So well, how, how, how now I will manipulate this one? This will be the same as limit as x approaches 0 will be 6 
sin 6x all over, I may integer this one will be 5, 6x. So, how, the, the, how do I solve this one? I have said we know sin x over x is 1. So, I may try to make this one sin 6x be the same as sin 6x over 6x, which will be the same as just like sin x over x. So, in this case, what I have done, I have multiplied both sides with 6 over 6, which is just the same as multiplying with the 1. So, 6 over 6. So, this will be 6 sin 6x. And this one is the same as 30x, but it's the same as 5 times 6x. I have just in touch. It's just the same, 30x, 30x. So, this one I have made 5, 6x. So, that this, this one will be just the same as sin x over x. So, in that case, this will be limit. This is the same as 6 over 5 limit as x approaches 0 of sin 6x all over 6x and this one we know this one will be 1 so it will be 6 over 5 times 1 which will be 6 over 5 so what I have done with this one I have made sure that I have sin 6x all over 6x so that limit of this one will be 1 and here outside now I have 6 over 5 so the answer will be just 6 over 5. So now we take example 2 on the same, where we have limit as x approaches 0 of cos x minus 1 all over sin x. I know with this one, with the direct substitution, you can be able to see that this will be cos 0 minus 1 all over sin 0, and cos 0 is 1 minus 1 all over 0, which will be 0 over 0. So we cannot be able to solve by direct substitution. But we can, so we can do some little manipulation on the same and be able to solve this one. So what I have done, I divide the rule with x. So this will be limit as x approaches 0. So I can have cos x minus 1 all over x, all over now sin x, all over x. I have divided my numerator with x. At the same case, I have divided my denominator with x. So this is the same as limit as x approaches 0 of cos x minus 1 all over x, all over limit as x approaches 0 of sin x all over x. I have applied the, the, the quotient rule of limit. This is the same as limit of numerator all over limit of denominator. So again, this one we had look at the, 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 the five cases we had here where we had limits applied in trigonometry. We said if you have limit as x approaches 0 of cos x minus 1 over x, we said that one will be equals to 0, and we said limit of x approaches 0 of sin x over x, we said that one will be 1. So here we have the answer will be equals to 0. So it's just simple manipulation and uh, you, you play with the numbers and functions and you are able to get your limit. So in this case you can be able to get is 0. 0 over 1 is just a 0. So in that case, that's our example two. We can get example three on the same. We have as limit x x approaches zero of x cot x. So this is the same as limit as x approaches zero of x cot is the same as cos x over sin x. Because we know tan x is sin over cos x, but cot is 1 over tan x. So it's just the reciprocal of this one. That's why we are getting cos over sin x. So we have that one. So with this one, we can be able to solve it. Very simple. We can divide numerator and the denominator with x. So we have limit as x approaches 0. So we have cos x all over x all over sin x all over x. I have numerator x cos x. I've divided with x. A denominator sin x I've divided with x. So this is the same as limit x approaches 0. When numerator x and x will cancel out, it will be cos x all over limit x, x approaches 0 of sin x all over x. We know as x approaches 0 of cos x, it's 1. And again, of sin x over x, as x approaches 0, we said it will be equals to 1. So automatically, we will get that 1 as 1. So this one, it's x cos x. So I've divided the numerator and denominator with x. So there is no impact with our equation. So I have divided with x, numerator. I got cos x. 
I divide the denominator with x, I got sine x over x. Then I separated my limit, I applied the row where we had the quotient. It's the same as limit of a numerator of a limit of a denominator. So limit of cos x, limit of this one. And limit of this one, we said that this one will be one, and this one will be one. So that is our third example. Maybe we can be able to solve the last for today when we have limits applied in trigonometric function. We have our example four, where we are to solve this one. If you are to solve by direct substitution, you get zero over zero, which you cannot be able to solve with that one. So in this case, what we are going to do, in this case, we open this one, we expand that one. So this is sine three t, sine three t, all over t. But because we want to simplify this one based on the first equation we wrote here, we multiply both sides with 90 over 90. The reason why we are multiplying with 90 over 90 is because I want to have sine 3t over 3t, sine 3t over 3t. So in that case, this will be the same as limit as t approaches 0, 90 sine 3t sine 3t all over. Now we have 90 squared. This is the same as 3t times 3t which will be the same as 90. So I can be able to split this one by itself and this one by itself. So we can have limit as t approaches zero. By product is the same as that one times limit as t approaches zero of sine 3t over 3t times limit as t approaches zero of sine 3t over 3t. Remember this one is one, this one is one, and this one will be zero. So we we'll have zero times one times one, where my answer will be zero. So what I have done with this one, I know it is sine three t sine three t, but I want to make sure that this one is over three t over three t. That's why I have multiplied with ninety, and because I want to have three t times three t, which will be ninety squared, I have done the same with the numerator. I have multiplied the same case with the numerator with ninety. So with that one, you can go and try that one. So th that's how we solve limits when it's applied trigonometry. We can look at now limits when it is applied in our exponential function.